Hey, hey, what's up? How you doing today? Let's get nerdy. Get our Revenge of the Nerds on here. Um, I want to share with you a quick uh, tip for kind of an unorthodox use for Armor All type products. And no, I do not work for this company, and you don't have to use this stuff. It's expensive, it's high dollar, it's supposed to be like Armor All on steroids, and it's if you've seen some of my other clips, you've probably noticed that it's rare for me to even have something that pricey. But um, that use is on um, uh, V-belts or serpentine belts. And I found out about it on YouTube, watched a clip, and this guy said, I'm going to share with you an old trick. And I'm sitting there going, man, I'm 40, and, and in my limited ex experience with this after I learned... I wish I'd have known about it when I was in high school, and since, you know, I could have used it a lot, but anyway, you can use any kind of armor all product on V-belts and serpentine belts, and they can help with all that awful, super annoying squealing that goes on, especially right when you start a vehicle up and it's charging the battery hard or whatever. Um, of course, the first thing you need to double check is make sure it's not worn out and doesn't need to be replaced. And then make sure it's snug and not loose. And if it's still squealing, then uh, you can clean it carefully. If it's running, be very careful because they'll eat a, eat a finger, they'll eat a digit and ruin your day and maybe ruin your finger. But uh, if you can get to it, you know, you can do it when it's not running, preferably. And if you can safely do it when it's running, just be very careful. But uh, you can clean them, and that might fix some of the squeal, like um, with some even soap. I think sometimes even just a, a plain, plain Jane bar of soap will help uh, clean it up and quieten it up. You could also use some uh, brake cleaner because that dries quick, or maybe even some WD-40. But that's what I started doing. And I actually made it worse initially. Then, man, when I used some of this stuff, I couldn't believe it. It went from squealing like a stuck pig to just a tiny little chirp right when I cranked it up. And that was it. I've still, I've got almost, I think, almost 140,000 miles on my main car. And I, as far as I know, it's still got the original serpentine belt on it, which is probably pushing it. But uh, this stuff seemed to help. And, uh, of course, I use, a, um, like a lot of the stuff, I use a toothbrush, dedicated toothbrush to help apply it and work it in and even it out. But um, also you can soak stuff, you know, for real small rubber and plastic parts. Get something small like this. I've got some little O-rings in there for plumbing or whatever. And uh, this I've got set up with a small mower V-belt curled up in there and I meant to just soak it overnight a night or two and it's probably been in there for a few weeks now but so I'm gonna um, take it out wipe, wipe off the excess and pour the rest back in here before it ruins it it's kept pretty good there's a little bit of a skin on there but uh, that should help that belt last a lot longer that belt is not in very bad shape had a little bit of dry rot cracking but uh, it's not that bad so Uh, what else was I going to say? I'm having the brain fart again. Oh, yeah, I've also taken um, small containers of uh, windshield wipers, the small plastic container they come in, and stored them in there and poured this in there and just kept stored them like that. Just kept it soaked because it didn't use a whole lot of this and the stuff lasts a long time. It did eventually turn kind of brown and get dirty and start, I guess, evaporating such, but uh, I've reused some of those. Maybe one was brand new, maybe one was used, and they seem to have, have lasted okay, pretty well for, for their age. But anyway, just a very quick, handy tip, a little bit unorthodox maybe, but man, I wish I'd known about it a long time ago. And obviously, there's other clips that show you, share this with you, but I thought I'd throw that out there to help the good word as well so 
Sorry I don't have any good hard rock or heavy metal to share right now, but I do have something cool. Bear with me. This is from uh, some good old, supposed to be all true, um, from uh, some war stuff from Desert Storm. And I got a friend that served in Desert Storm. But, uh, this is some pretty cool, interesting audio here I got from the History Channel, the Military Channel, whatever. something like out of a science fiction movie. There'll be a spurt of green come from them, and then a fan of orange comes from us, and the green stops and the orange keeps moving. We never stopped, we just we kept rolling, and each tank was... Anyway, that could be all Hollywood for all I know. Take care. Have a good